Hej, witam was bardzo serdecznie, ja jestem Viver, a to jest czwarty odcinek gry Oxen Free. I ostatnio działy się naprawdę ciekawe rzeczy. Mieliśmy między innymi okazję zagrać z tymi istotami z innego wymiaru w Hangmana, którego udało się rozpykać jak ta lala. Następnie mieliśmy okazję znaleźć Clarisse, która, jak się okazało, yy, prawdopodobnie jest opętana i wskutek tego wyskoczyła z okna, ale jak się okazało, wcale jej nie było rozciapkanej przed budynkiem. A więc ciekawe, co się z nią stało. Mam nadzieję, że się tego dowiemy. I w tym odcinku chyba pora najwyższa wrócić do reszty paczki, która czeka w Harden Tower. No i niestety chyba będziemy musieli im przekazać tą smutną informację, że Clarissa wyskoczyła z okna. No i zobaczymy, co dalej. Let's just get back to Ren at the Com Tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Okej, okay, myślę, że to w tą stronę. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. <laughs> How are you? Um, still holding all your parts together? Emotionally? Um, kinda. Some things are slipping the rotors a little, but, you know, whatever. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to, and I only spent it's half... It's okay, it's... you tried. That's all you can do. The stupid radio has been... what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing it. We... Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll... It'll bring me back up. That's what it does. I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh god. To się nam trafił ćpun. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh yeah, we have. Look, we tuned into something in the cave and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And uh ghosts. Yes. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah. Maggie Adler. She has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Oh, boy. Thank God for that memory. Yeah, finally something positive jarred loose through all the hysteria. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them was after you knew everything had gone to hell, so... <laughs> to balance out. To balance me out. That's it. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. 
What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. This was your whole stupid thing. Guys, come on. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like, harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex Guys, is... stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care Hello, what Caveman like Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean... I guess... Why this are you isn't, making me shack up with this guy? It's my friggin' We've been plan. together the entire night. It's only night. my idea. Why? Be quiet. Both of you. God, you're like puppies. You're not gonna die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, isn't... No, it's fine. This'll be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. <laughs> no, zdecydowanie nie wyglądała na zadowoloną. Dobra, w takim razie... Ee, chłopaki się pokłócili. Chyba każdy chciał tutaj przyjąć pozycję takiego samca alfa. Pogadajmy sobie jeszcze z nimi przed wyruszeniem. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Okej, okay, dobra, w takim razie ruszamy z Noną do centrum w poszukiwaniu klucza do domu Meg Adler i będziemy się starać zdobyć jej łódkę, żeby opuścić tą przeklętą wyspę. W takim razie szybciutko chyba będziemy musieli przejść sobie kawałek tutaj przez całą wyspę, żeby dostać się do centrum, ale może coś ciekawego wydarzy się podczas tej podróży. No na za nami podąża. Myślałem, że już tam zostanie i nas oleje. You know. I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the uh, back, behind Jake. I la moment, zerkniemy sobie tylko na mapkę. Hmm. Czyli powinniśmy się kierować w dół, a później w lewo. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. 
I'm also just like never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention. And if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So it's like, what's the point? Wait, if you don't really go to like class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days and I'm having a thing and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Why didn't you tell us? We could have made this more of a, you know, a, a birthday thing instead of just a beach bash or whatever. I, d I don't even know why I mentioned it now, really. Hmm. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and, well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know, actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. Sorry. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident and so of course we cancel and go visit her and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies and she didn't have to do that. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days and I just hope she's okay. That's all. Hmm. Czyli ta Clarissa wcale nie jest taka najgorsza. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. W sumie może tylko się tak zachowuje w stosunku do większej ilości ludzi, a jak już jest tak powiedzmy sam na sam, jak choćby z Noną, to potrafi okazać taką ludzką twarz. A, okej, okay, chyba jesteśmy na tym przejściu na klify. I na samym początku szliśmy tutaj w dół. Więc w lewą stronę na pewno będzie miasto, dokładnie. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. Okay, to gdzieś tutaj jeden z tych budynków mamy odwiedzić. Clarissa! What are you... How did she get up there? What are you doing? Oh, shit. She's alive. You, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Clarissa! What? Oh, fuck. Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow. Okay, dobra, spokojnie, zaraz będziemy to mieli. Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa. I'm I'm trying to help you. This is this way. Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others. Ren and Nona, they've gone through the same. Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Fuck, Snowu. Is she okay or she's I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? 
Back to normal, I hope. Back to normal? What does that even... How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you... Do you realize that? We you saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So, you're <laughs> just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn what already? The fuck? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are... <gasps> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and... I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her it fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates... <sighs> okay, Clarissa, come on. I said I was sorry. You don't have to pile on. Pile on? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like Clarissa, just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. Ugh, you are completely insane! It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters were all secretly talking about you! Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't... I can't believe... Ugh. She is... Seriously, enough! Nona, don't... Just don't think of me like... I don't. Just... Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So, let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the Alex in free. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my... It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. Okay, dobra, pogadaliśmy sobie z Clarice'ą, trochę nam na... wypominała. We're gonna try... We're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? Że śmierć Michaela to nasza wina. Ale w sumie myślę, że bardziej to jest nieszczęśliwy wypadek, ponieważ Alex była mocno związana z bratem, więc Alex, wątpię, żeby go zamordowała po prostu. You know, the re yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Mhm, mm czy będziemy wyważać drzwi? No. W sumie to poszło. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Bez problemu. O, zerkniemy na mural. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. <laughs> Szybka rozmowa. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <laughs> The fuck? Uh, Co to okay. było? Has that happened before? Oh yeah. It's I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. Uh I think here's something. It's another pocket radio. Ooh, nowe. Radyjko. 
looks like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to Adler's house too. Uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or like hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna. Okay, here. To... Uh, dobra, mamy kolejne zadanie. Steal a boat and leave. W takim razie. Okej, okay, droga wydaje się prosta. Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? Wait, isn't she dead? Didn't she die like yesterday or something? Uh, it's dated a month ago, so I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edward's Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh god, chores. I don't care if the soldiers secretly smoked opium or got the village wives pregnant, I just want to get out of here. Yeah, totally. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, <laughs> we've all had the mechanical unicorn Love. dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home. To be totally face up with you. Yeah. W sumie to wydaje się bardziej rozsądne, żeby wracać do domu, niż zajmować się szukaniem jakichś ukrytych skarbów, tajemnic i tym podobnych. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. Huh? What the fuck? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket, huh? and I never said Lazier? I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Michael? Did we? Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah. What is it? Did I um, almost um, 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 step um, um, on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. We just got here. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad. I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... Do you get what's happening now? All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. <laughs> Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. This is really quite insane what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. Okay. Uh, wygląda na to, że Alex jest trochę zagubiona w tej całej sytuacji. It's been a spell since we did something, right? 
feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh... <laughs> Are you, like, faking it, or pretending, or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean, I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Mm, um, za bardzo chodziło. I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend, or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff. You know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you like a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kind of sorry to see you back so soon, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right. Sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink too. No, it's just that something more snuggle. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've. Missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot. That's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her. So, thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so. But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's okay. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so that's what I see in her. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex. So tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Hmm. Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Hmm. Ah, było to. Trochę wzruszające. Porozmawia ze swoim Alex, nieżyjącym you... bratem. All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a I don't even know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. No, no, I I just saw I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? I was... it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... it's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Hmm. Ciekawe, czy Nona nam uwierzy. No 
cóż, Clarissa okazuje się być miłą całkiem osobą. No w tym momencie faktycznie może żywić do Alex jakiś uraz odnośnie śmierci Michaela. I stąd jej e, takie wredne zachowanie, ale myślę, że nie ma co jej winić o to. Po prostu ma żal i zrzuca całą winę właśnie na Alex. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out so great. Yeah, Clarissa's gone though. Gone? Gone like dead or? No, I guess there was a, what'd you guys call it? Like a time loop thing? Thing. She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, Time but... Time looped away? Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, mm -hmm. right, Alex? Dobra, brzmi jak plan. Sprawdzimy. Jak działa to radio? If we are still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Okej, okay, okej, okay, spokojnie, próbuję. Turn on the Lima. Okej, okay, dobra, zadziałało. Nie było takie trudne. Jej. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah. Okej, okay, wygląda na to, że Meg Adler ma łódkę. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. A faktycznie to dosyć... ...spory domek. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um... Okay, well, I mean, if the boat plan doesn't work, there's still a big house, like, right there, and it probably has a phone. We can just call somebody to pick us up. That's as good a guess as any. Mm hmm It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That Bingo. is a nifty gizmo. Hello. Finally. Oh, Carissa, oh God, Jesus! You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? I don't know, I'm in like a heightened state right now. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just- Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since, so I thought I'd camp it up. Okay, you're here, whatever. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just- everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just- Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. 
I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yeah. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Mhm. Dobra. Ciekawe go na się to dostała, skoro był e, zamknięty ten zamek radiowy. Wątpię, żeby miała radio, które to otwiera. Ah, it's been disconnected. Bummer. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we like okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. <sighs> I'm not gonna pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to like. Tonight has been bad enough. I'm not gonna crab about that. I mean, are you like mad at me or something? No, no. We're. I want to be okay with you. I just. If we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There. See? Easy. Okay, dobra. Czyli szukamy. Mm, w sumie nie wiem, czego szukamy. Yy, kl klucza do łódki? Oh, that's an attic. Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and well, I'm actually that about covers it. Ah, chwila momentu, nie chcę jeszcze tutaj wchodzić. Co sobie najpierw zerknąć? O. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what, like she yeah, cared sure. if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. Huh, yeah. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Hmm. Dobra. Wejdźmy na górę, sprawdźmy, co jest na strychu. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. W takim razie musimy znaleźć kody. Do otwarcia skrzynki. Hmm. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of... Put some clothes more on. More enterprising sorts <laughs> like Remember yourself. Remember that guy? Ugh. Where are your parents? You kids better than... Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Hmm, dziwna rozmowa. Dobra, zerkniemy jeszcze do tej piwniczki. Czyżby tutaj Ren się pałętał gdzieś? Hmm, dokładnie. Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. Hmm. She made a lot of what should I call these slides? They're they're not videos. Um, silent memories. Huh, Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the. There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. Twenty nine, eighteen, fifty four. Ah, uh, cool. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Hmm, moglibyśmy poglądać. Dobra, ale najpierw idziemy tą skrzynkę zbadać. Chap, 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 do góry. Are 
are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Hey, Nona. Hey. How's it going? Uh, steady as she goes. Clarissa? Your Highness? <laughs> 800th time, and I don't even know why I feel like I have to keep selling you on this, but here goes again. Michael wasn't my fault. <sighs> as long as you believe it, I guess. Okay, dobra. Czyli jednak nie da się jej przekonać o tym, że był to nieszczęśliwy wypadek. Chociaż myślę, że wie, ona o tym wie. Tak gdzieś tam w głębi serca. Mimo wszystko chcę obwiniać Alex, żeby jej było troszeczkę lżej. Four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I just really don't get it. Yeah, me too. Is this ah the boat keys? Got them. Dobra, mamy klucze. Perfecto. Więc e, cóż, no spadamy. Alright, we got keys for the boat. Spadamy stąd Where? czym prędzej. Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Oh fuck. Alex. Oh Alex. A, myślałem, że już here, troszeczkę please. lepiej się to potoczy. Uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. Roll an oil, marinated, so to speak. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Come on, Jonas. I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? I thought you, you guys were stuck here, or, or that this wasn't. You signed up for this, Alexandra. Huh? possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for. Trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. So you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So... Ten. Nine. Eight. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. Oh. The older models and the next race. Okay. <laughs> but right <laughs> now, it would be wise to think of radiation. Sure, my other sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye in a notch. It's my best little heart. Oh, okay? shit. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Yeah. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex. So stay quick. Okay, dobra, zostało by się portret. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The the picture of. Eh, of łatwe. I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. Hmm. You and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, 
This has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception flag to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like. But how- I don't care about your- your time problems. These are my friends you're replacing. Then let us share in each other's disregard. The fuck? Our vessel dashed on the rocks. We have until dawn. And so are you. We would spend our time wisely. And... We thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. Fuck. Ok, mamy maszynę. Musimy naprawić mm, czas. What the fuck? Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Hmm. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> hmm, ciekawa sprawa. Ciekawe co te odbicia mają. Nam do przekazania. I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Ah, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Clarissa. Ah, no. But I wish it wasn't. Actually, Clarissa is now just. We are in like trouble. Yeah. We're in like trouble. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of really are. So. I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie? I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She didn't know anything about- She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. <laughs> and she thought she needed to tune a radio into the, the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave, Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. You want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. Okay, dobra. Nie dadzą się przekonać, żeby opuścić wyspę. W takim razie zerkniemy jeszcze do piwnicy. 
w poszukiwaniu wskazówek, jak dostać się do bunkra. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Uh, God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. Mm. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's like scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry. This is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will mm -hmm. head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just, I mean, Can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yes. Don't we need, like, access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to, like, the military radios and, well, we stole them, so... Well, the system works. <laughs> Dobra, w takim razie mamy nową misję. Use the response station to open a bomb shelter. I tam chyba musimy się wybrać. All right. Break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. <laughs> Same here. I don't want to know nothing. Co jest na dole? Aha, możemy na plażę wrócić. Ale my chyba tam nie chcemy się wybierać. My chcemy wrócić do... do góry. Ech, dobra. Hmm, w takim razie sporo się wydarzyło w dzisiejszym odcinku. E, chociażby ten flashback z Michaelem. E, ta cała historia z opętaną Clarissą troszeczkę mnie niepokoi, ponieważ... Nie jestem pewien, czy damy radę ją uratować, chociaż no, mimo wszystko dążymy do tego. I to będzie wszystko na dzisiaj, a więc dziękuję serdecznie za oglądanie i do następnego razu. Hej, hej!